All right, so welcome to this edition of the Whatever Podcast. And for this first part of the podcast, I got my first guest here with me. And once again, we've got Derek Shapiro. So welcome once again. Yes, yes. Is this scary to have me again? Is this Halloween time? Really? Yeah, because we recorded this earlier today. And I don't know what happened because whatever I was recording it on, it showed that it like, you know how like it records and then it, it shows like the time in seconds, like the right. mi- amount of minutes it's been in like the seconds. But right. when I played it back, nothing at all. Well, that's like a ghost. Really? It, it, how many more of these? <laughs> How many more of these Halloween-related jokes you're gonna make? Well, I don't know. I mean, I mean, wouldn't it be eerie if you, if you had a back again? I mean, you know, and it would just be eerie, you know. And 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 and, and it's, it's like, it's like, but but we recorded this as like a thrill of a time, you know. What is this like? Three? This is joke number three already. What what were we, what are we just like over a minute doing this right now? Yes. 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 I mean, yeah. So, but it's, I'm, I'm glad to be back around Halloween time, you know? All the pumpkins and all the Derek Shapiro's out there. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, no, there's another Derek Shapiro in Georgia. I, uh, I'm actually friends on my Facebook. Uh, actually, there's another Derek S. Shapiro. I don't think they'll say middle name as me, but there's another Derek S. Shapiro on my own. That'd be crazy if there was. Well, there is. I mean, Georgia. I mean, if I, ever, uh, I, I, talk, I, I talked to him on Facebook. I, I was saying to him, you know, one time we should meet up, but never got a chance, you know? Yeah, I know. I know you're going to make a vlog on that if that were to happen. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because I talked to him about having him on my show. Like, I was like, saying to Vinny Bucci, you know, like, wouldn't it be cool to have two Derek Shapiro's on the Bucci cast, you know? Yeah, so you got a movie that came out, and River actually came up with the idea. So, uh, Give the folks that are listening to this a little details as to what it's all about. Well, yeah, Teenage Vampire is out now. It came out on October 1st, a day before my daughter's birthday, by the way. Um, Teenage Vampire on movie internet channel.yolosite.com, movie internet channel.co.site.com. And um, just having um opportunity to write this script with River, bounce ideas off of him and and co-direct this. He actually said action a few times and cop and doing, doing a few bloopers, you know, uh, doing it with, uh, doing this movie with my son, um, um, was just a very good thrill, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and, you know, he said, dad, let's do a vampire movie. We went on to the store, the Halloween store and, and, and got vampire, um, stuff with teeth and, and tape and all that fun stuff, you know? Yeah, so what would you say was your favorite aspect of the film besides uh, your son coming up with the idea and being, what what would you even consider, the executive producer of this? Yeah, you know, like, he produced, executive producer, you know, and and, 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 uh, the fun aspect, you know, having my parents in the film too, um, having my parents, Howard and Janice Shapiro, you know, um, um, I got to act with my dad and my mom got to act with River, um, and, River um, and then of course they both acted together too in the story and it was it was fun you know it was fun acting with you too that was fun putting Evans A. Darrell's in it and, and Vinny Bucci and the, and the fun part the crazy part is the latest I ever I filmed for this was like just a few weeks ago like back in um, September early September to put um, Vinny Bucci and Evans A. Darrell's in because their part wasn't relevant to film right away because I knew that Evans, I want to play him to play a newscaster and Vinnie Bucci, him to play himself as the Bucci cast, tell him about the vampires and about Halloween and Evans A. Darrell's play a news reporter. So his part 
could, I, you, know, you know, I knew that I didn't have to film them right away. All the essentials part, like me and you, me and River, me and Serenity. So, well, Serenity, I didn't act with Serenity, but Serenity and, 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 her, and her boyfriend, Bruce. Um, um, the Serenity and Vinnie Bucci has been in all my films. And um, yeah, Vinnie Bucci and, and, and Serenity in, in one way or another. And of course, you and Evan's been in all my films ever since I met you four, four or five years ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, so you, you guys are the main guys who I, I get in all my films now. <clears throat> and then, of course, out of my parents and like Spice and then different films because, you know, they, they, they don't mind helping out. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just over a sickness a little bit. I've been sick for a week or so. But, uh, but yeah, so it's like, uh, um, you know, it's a fun aspect. And then we got, we got, I don't know if you've ever watched, ever heard of The Bachelor on ABC? Yeah. Well, one of The Bachelor series, Ashley and Jared, they were at uh, Warwick Mall last year when I interviewed Billy Gilman, this uh, former country, well, he's still a country singer. You know, he was actually on The Voice a few few years ago. Billy Gilman and uh, Ashley and uh, Jared did a benefit for the Toys for Tots. So I went over to Warwick Mall one day last year in, in December and um, I interviewed Ashley and Jared. Then I asked him, hey, could you do something for my son's film? Because, you know, I, I need some celebrity quick. So, so celebrity power to put in because I always put some, some, some type of celebrity in my film. So I put Ashley and Jared and they did a quick segment Um you know, like they were running out of work more, but before, uh, not running out, but they were just saying something related to the Teenage Vampire, then they walked out of work more. And this is more that I go to, I filmed other films there before, back in the day. And, uh, and, uh, it was crazy just to, you know, have Ashley and Jared, even, even if I didn't act with them, just to direct them, it was pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, what would you say, uh, are the people that could appeal to this movie, besides, like, there's the horror aspect of it, but who else do you think could want to watch this movie? You know, comedy, uh, people like comedy, this is, I would say this is more like a comedy slash horror, uh, not horror, but, you know, Halloween themed, Halloween themed. Um, there's Teenage Vampire, and, and uh, there were, like, you know, like, other than the, some biting parts, it was more comic, like between my character and your character, you know. And then, I, and then Billy Bucci's dialogue, he said something funny about about Derek Shapiro, you know, he, just to bring just to bring my name up, you know. He, um, I says, do some do some comical, you know. I, I I love comedy, you know. Like I've, I've done horror, horror, you know. Like horror, my first movie was Horror Night, and I did a lot of good technical things with that. Um, me and River did, you know. Uh, zombie movies and it was more technical if you will and this is more comical but some, some technical Vinnie Pucci what he loved about this film is he, he critiques all my films and, and the story wasn't the best for Vinnie but that's alright uh, but the but but the the comical was there but I, I, I did a hands job down for technical for this film and it's it, it so easy just to like I would like me and River's character that was a good character we gave the holy water to our bad characters and and, and just to just to see the technique how I was easy um, easy to do this element to make it look like it was you know like it was done professionally like it, you know it's it just easy to do any, any any idiot could do this edit, you know, to get it done right. And as I, I use this technique for my, my, my uh, first three Horror Night films, you know? Yeah. Uh, if you will. So, uh, it was pretty cool to do that, you know, for the, uh, for the Teenage Vampire. So since River, he isn't uh, in the mood to do the interview right now, uh, what what would you say River got the inspiration for this idea? Where did he get the inspiration for the idea? Do you want to answer? Okay, River will answer that one. 
Where did you get the inspiration for the idea? The idea? For the idea for Teen Vampire. Maybe. Where did you get the inspiration for Teen Vampire? I got it from a movie. What movie? Okay. How do you hear of... <sighs> Dylan. Yeah. How do you hear of... It's, it's, it's a movie. Well, it's a, it's a vampire movie, but it's really scary. I watch, I watch it before. It's a good movie, but it's, it's, a, va- it's a vampire. It's a, it's a good movie, but let me try to search it up. Hold on for one second, okay? All right, we're just searching it up. Wait a minute, did you like the comedy aspect of this battle? Or what? The, or like, what? Did you like the scary biting part? What do you mean? Well, did you like the scary part of this movie better, or did you like the comedy part of this battle? Um, we're, we're, we're just, we're just saying, I, I think you're just going along with uh, my direction to it, you know? Oh. But, uh, 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 look. Wait. Okay. Okay. It's, it's called Fright Night. Have you heard the, have you heard of the movie Fright Night? Dylan? What? I'm not sure if I have or not. I've never, well, I've never a, watched it's a, it. It's a, it's a horror, it's a horror economy movie. It came out nineteen eighty five. Was it Vampire? Yes. It's it's called Fright Night. It's a movie. It's a good movie. It came okay. out nineteen eighty five. It's a comedy movie. It's called Fright Night. But vampires in there. Okay. You should watch it. It's a good movie. Well, you heard of? Well, you heard of from River? Yeah, that's very interesting to know. This is the movie. Yeah, it's straight, man. Look, this is the movie. That's the movie? Look. You've you seen that before, right? No. Oh, wow. Frightening. Oh, wow. Like, you know, 1985. <clears throat> oh, that does look scary. Yeah, that definitely looks more scary what than it? I'll show you the trailer. No, no, no. We're, we're on the interview over here. No, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll look at the Yeah. yeah. But, so, yeah, I'm in the interview now. So, yeah. Hi, hi, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing fine. I can't, I, I can't believe my son's going to be 17. Yeah, that's in, crazy. In, in, in three months. Yeah, this vampire movie was so fun. I, I love the vampire movie. Oh, this is my movie. It's my creation. Oh, I just love my movie, Dylan. Do you... Oh, River, do you think that uh, one day that you'll be like in your dad's I'm, footsteps? And doing what? the, do you, do you think you'll follow your dad's footsteps and being the director and creating your own movies at some I point? Will. I want to create my own movies. Like when I grow up, right? Like, like when I grow up, I want to create my own movies when I grow up. Do you think they're going to be similar to the style like your dad makes or is it going to be like more in a different direction? Different direction because my movie is better than my dad's movies. Oh, oh he's so saying just, my my movies are scarier than my than my dad's. Oh, he's saying my, that already. Because my movies are better than his. This is like I can't say. <laughs> he's trying not to laugh. <laughs> yeah, he's roast. River's roasting you right now. And in my movies are hundred hundred percent. My my dad's movies are zero. Oh, okay. Maybe one. <laughs> one, one, one point two. Well, well, we did collaborate with movie together. Well, okay. So yeah, so but yeah, in, 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 in all fairness, I mean, we, we, me and River have a great time, and and I just love working with him. And you know, hey, if you can't tease tease each other, then you know, especially in this crazy crazy world we live in right now, what's going on in this crazy world, you know? Yeah. So we mentioned in the first interview, I guess you could call it like a rough draft, but yes, rough draft. He uh, met- actually it was funny because 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 before I did the interview, I had a beard beard because I didn't shave it in like a week. So I guess I I got myself prepared and the looks, even though it's only audio for this one. So yeah. I shaved. So my face was rough before. Really? Yes. Yeah, so River mentioned about two other potential horror movie films coming out in the 
2023 and then 2024. So uh, get, get more into detail for that for the people listening out there. Well, in 2023, I think the cloud movie might be better when we're, gonna, when we're making than the vampire. But what else are we doing? Than the ghost movie, because we haven't made a ghost movie before. That's in 2024. I'm used to the ghost movie, because when I go on a date, ladies like to be ghosts to me! Yeah. Uh, we just said. Oh, the rumor says just because what I said, that joke. He's want to do the ghost movie. You know what? We're doing the <laughs> ghost movie. We'll do. Oh, wait. Maybe, actually. You know what I mean? Oh, I got a good movie. Kidnap movie. Oh, okay. Dad, Dad kidnaps Dylan. And then. Oh, I'm going to forget how I'm going to do this. Oh, great. Okay. That'd be a good movie in 2024. Okay. In that movie. Oh, you know what you, you know what you would do? Kidnap movie. It would yes. be like a it'd be like a horror slash comedy film. You kidnap me, jokes. and when and when I'm when I'm captive, you all you do is just tell me jokes for the entire time. Oh yes, I'm telling you, but uh, yeah, I mean you know I, I, I'm 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 just I love my son's ideals. You know it's it's fun. You 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 got, you got to kidnap movie. I want to do a dumb movie. Well, we should, we should, I like the ghost movie. I do like the ghost movie. Okay, we we'll do the ghost, ghost movie. movie. But it, it's just fun to do. I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, look, I'm I'm not a horror. I'm not a horror, or you know, it's funny. I'm not a horror. My sister likes horror movies. She likes scary movies. But like, it's funny because when I was taping Horror Night, like, I I was the killer. Like, my character Rottweiler was a killer in that movie, and it was it's it's funny because. I was worried about the head place of being portraying these people because I don't know. I just don't like horror, horror um, genres. I don't, I'm just not a, I'm not a horror or vampire genre myself. So to direct it, it's 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 all organic to me. Uh, to do the even the, even uh, last year when we did the um, you know um, um, what movie was last year. Um, the, uh, you can't think of it. What movie was last year again? Uh, Dylan, uh, what movie was last year? Oh, uh, it was, it was like oh, the, the one with the twins, right? The, the, the zombie, the zombie movie. Yeah. yeah. So, so doing, doing the horror night and the zombie and now the teenage vampire, I'm not a fan of that genre, but it's, but you got to open yourself up being a director, being a writer. And, being a bad guy for when I was doing my Horror Night franchise, it was really something just to be in a head place and do this, you know? And, 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 uh, it just, it, it makes you open up more, you know? So, like, like when I was taking my first Horror Night movie, people were, were saying, like, in between the scenes, people were saying, this reminds me of another, another horror movie. I said, well, well, that's, that's sometimes. I never seen it really because, the only movie I'm, I'm, I was a big fan of she basically was like Scream because, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, I can relate more to Scream or more to like, I know what you did last summer, you know. But like doing my own horror movie and me being the head killer in that movie back in the day was, was just really re- weird, you know. Like, And then I got used to it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, then, and then the headspace to do the zombie movie and then the teenage vampire so it's it's like you know you open yourself up because it's only a short period of time of filming, and then and then when you you know and Halloween's only a short period, so you know I open myself up to that to those genres, but I still won't go out and really like say okay like if like I watch Medea like Medea Boo that's like okay that's a comedy thriller you know what I'm saying and. It was more comedy than really scary. The the Medea Boo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what I would say. That's like a type of movie I would like because it's more comedy in the time of Perry Medea. You know what I'm saying? But like, like if 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 a comedy came out the same day as a horror movie, I would go with the comedy first, hands down. You know, like if I was in two movies at the same time releasing the same day, I would release it. If one was comedy, one was horror, I would see my comedy first. 
than the horror second, you know. Yeah, do you think that uh, your daughter London would ever come up with an idea for a movie? Uh, you know, at this time, I, I, I mean, me and her, we do vlogs. Um, we, um, we we have done the father-daughter vlog. I just re released October 1st, um, uh, on her, October 2nd on her birthday. She just turned 22. Happy birthday to my daughter. And uh, I, I released a uh, birthday vlog father daughter blog for her and um and we we started taping it since april and you know the father daughter blogs but we really haven't done much recently with so many things going on and then of course me and river in the summertime we do the beach vlogs and we do the mall vlogs over the years but we're not i don't think we're gonna be returned to the mall vlogs it's just a lot to do but uh a very easy vlog to do i've been doing it with the river's been appearing in it is my cooking block cooking with Derek and it's just fun to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I've been implanting that on my, on my cable show, you know, but it's, 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 it's fun to do, but you know, anything to do vlogs on my kids is fun, you know, to do a father daughter vlog, to do the beach vlog or the mall vlog or <coughs> the cooking vlog, you know, I say, Hey, we're doing this together. You know what I'm saying? So it's fun. What or how do you come up with like the idea to do a specific vlog, whether it's Life is a Beach or the Father Daughter Vlog? Well, you know, the Father Daughter Vlog was was easy because since my daughter's living closer and you know we have dinner before we got sick and before you know everything you know um, just a lot like. We have when we have dinner with my parents, like either at my house or my parents' house. Uh, me and my daughter, we go at it, you know, in not a mean way. But I mean, sometimes you know, like she likes to rip on me, you know, being being a twenty something old daughter, like she has opinions and she 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 she'll she'll be truthful, you know what I'm saying? So the way I respond, like like as I'm getting older, and I don't express this to you or Evans as much. Uh, because we have different personalities when we go to different people, but but I mean I, I, may, I, I may have said this to you off the year, and I, I, I'll say this to your fans. I, mean, I don't care. I'm, I'm more. I, th I think I'm more as you get older behind the scenes. When I'm off, you know, I'm doing a lot of stuff. Uh, people see me as a, as a funny guy. You know, I do my comedy poetry, or I do my singing, but I'm I'm, I'm very opinionated. Like I'm very like more crabby as you get older. I don't know. If, I don't know if that happens to you. But I'm more, I'm more of like, like a lot of things get to me when I get older. I don't know if that happens to you, Dylan, but but you, but you, you you're only twenty years younger than me anyway. So yeah. So but but I don't I don't know if your parents are that way too. I don't know if you can see your parents. Do they get more crabby or more more like less um, patient with with different things as as you get older? Uh, I feel like the, it depends on the person because, like, I work with the elderly, so I could, I could definitely see like that that side of it where they get more angsty with things. Yeah, it's it's like I'm not feeling the best for the past week, and it's like, hello, like this is aggravating me. Like, I, you know, it's like, yeah, it's it's like like when you tell me like. Like the thing got got messed up. I wasn't really too mad about that or too too stressed out. But like other little things could bother me. Like well, especially if if, if if a technical thing happens, like my computer. You know what I'm saying? Or like that I gotta re-edit something. Like like when you edit something, I have so much things to edit, and then, and then like when when the thing doesn't want to be like saved. Oh my god! I I I really like. I yell up on my computer. I say "fuck you" to the computer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, um, it's like my, my my family and my friends around me be saying they'd be like laughing, like you get them out of the computer, like like I have so much to edit, and and it's like I I be deleting stuff. But how much more things do I, do I got to delete before I before you you know before I have enough room for this project? You know, and it's like. <clears throat> 
give, give me some, give me some, like, give, give me some easier stuff that goes on other than this, this triumph, this triumph from um, mishaps, you know? Yeah, for me, I would, I would say that there's like things that might have got. I feel like it's a swap off when it comes to certain stuff. Like there's stuff that would have got me real aggravated when I was younger, but not really now. But right. now there might be things that it's like it. It's like that the things that used to get me aggravated. It's like. It gets transferred to something else. Okay, okay. And then with my parents, yeah. I wouldn't say. I feel like, like my mom. She, she's more mellowed out than when she was younger because I feel like she would get more aggravated at stuff. I mean, she does still, because that, that's a, that's mom's. That's a lot of ma mothers when it comes to, like, their sons or husbands. Well, like, for me, like, you know, I, I, I have a series of, of things, like, like I have new car payment <clears throat> because, but, because my old car got flooded. And then, and then I have, you know, rent to pay. And then, of course, I can't go out and work for the past few days because I haven't been feeling well, you know, under the weather. Yeah. So it's like... <clears throat> Bills still come up, and this thing comes up. I haven't got my daughter's birthday gifts really yet, other than the birthday vlog, and she really liked the birthday vlog. <laughs> so, but basically, you know. But I, I, I also have some uh, um, some different projects coming up in November too. Is this is airing when? This is gonna be. This is gonna air so I don't know. We're, we're recording this. It's what is this today? The eleventh. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so maybe, I don't know, maybe like the 20th or something like that because I at, at the time that we're recording this right now, I, I actually did record another podcast yesterday. So okay. I'm going to be posting that first and then we're going to be, I'm going to be posting this because, yeah, we, after you, I got a segment with uh, my other friend, uh, Ace Man. Ace Man? Yeah. Oh, does he know Ace Ventura? Really? <laughs> so, so like, okay, so, so after Teenage Vampire is up for this month, you know, um, November, I'm going to be re-released. Re I was going to come out with another film, a new film with you in it, but um, I'm, I'm going to be putting one of my uh, original films that I came out with in 2017 with my character dying. Yeah, I play Todd in the movie. My um, and it was strange about it because this news reporter, local news reporter that works for the NBC Ten over here, he, he was a political reporter, and he was one of my first guests I ever had on my power cable, power half hour cable show. His name is Bill Rapley, and like just a two or three years ago, before the pandemic, he he, he passed away of cancer. And maybe when he was filming this, he could have maybe had the first stages of cancer. I don't know. But I, I told his character that my character was dying. And then, of course, one of the doctors played by – one was played by Joe Bag, one of our former radio people uh, yeah. that we used to be together with me, you and Evans. Uh, Joe Bag plays a serious doctor in the movie, so you see his serious side. But James Buddy Love Harry. Play one of the doctors. So I'm re releasing that in November on Thanksgiving Day, my dying movie on the movie internet channel. .com, the movie internet channel. .com. And guess what movie I'm re releasing in February because I'm going to start a sequel for this. I'm going to start filming the sequel for this next summer. What movie? I'm sorry? Which movie? I'll give you a hint. Chucky Seymour. <laughs> no, the original No Lips, No Teeth. I found it. And uh, I'm going to be putting it back up on YouTube and put it on the movie internet channel. Movie internet channel. in February. 
And then in April, I'm going to be releasing our newest movie coming out. The glass is half full. Remember, remember we did that? I uh, wish, uh, refresh my memory. Where did we film that? Like my scene, our scene. Yeah. I think from a computer. No, no, we did the glasses half full. We did on Peabody. Me, me, you, and Evans. Oh yeah, yeah. Wasn't that for um? That was for his birthday, right? Yes, and and that movie. You know who I have it is one of my friends. He plays himself. And he played the brother to Christina Applegate. Do you remember the movie Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead? Yeah, I never watched it. Yeah, I I have a vague idea on who <clears throat> she is, yeah. Well, he is going to be in that movie. So I found him last year. Finally got clearance from um, the um, the SAG. I had to get permission from the SAG, and he agreed to be in my movie. <clears throat> so... It was pretty good. And so that movie's going to come out next year. <sighs> so some good some good things coming out in 2022 and 2023. Yeah, so this is going to be the last uh, question I ask uh, before we close out this part of the whatever podcast. I, I, don't, I don't think there's going to be – this is probably going to be the last time, assuming nothing else comes up before then. This is probably going to be the last time uh, – we do a podcast uh, for this year together, at least, for, on my podcast. Well, yeah, okay. because you'd still be my episode monthly show. Because I, I, I want to thank you, too, because you've been, you've been my, my co-host this year. And you, Dylan, and Vinny, and but, but, but you and, I mean, you and Evans uh, have been, have been my, my, um, my co-host for my episode monthly show. So it's been a privilege to be, be in my, you being my co-host for that show, you know? Yeah, it's like uh, old times again because back in the day, that's how we all, all three of us met. It was through uh, radio. And also, too, you, you come on my D shop in the morning every so often. So, you know, yeah. it's like, uh, you know, and, and then of course, New Year's Eve. You're going to be on my New Year's Eve bash. And New Year's Eve, the people hear this in November, um, or, you know, October, November time, whatever. Uh, again, New Year's Eve is it's like a hop, skip, and jump away. So, uh, I usually have my New Year's Eve bash come out December 31st on the DSSTVstation.com and DirectShipRiverShow.com. We have two, two networks, and you'll be on my New Year's Eve bash anywhere from 9 p.m. to 2 o'clock in the morning. So we always have fun every New Year's Eve, right? Yeah. So what would you uh, say since it's crazy, it's all almost 2023, what would you say are your – expectations for the coming year when it comes to your YouTube, making movies and all that. So wait, 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 refresh your question then? So what, since 2023 is almost here, what would you say are your expectations when it comes to um, everything that you're putting out? Expectations? Yeah. Sometimes you just have to go with the flow because especially with a lot of stuff going on in the world, sickness and all this stuff, expect the unexpected. Um, you know, with me being under the weather for the past week, uh, I don't want, I feel like my promotion has been under par a little bit for Teenage Vampire. I can, I can, I can only do more, but I want to do more promotion towards the end near Halloween, you know, <clears throat> but um, with anything, work hard, play hard, go on vacation, be with your family. Um, because you know this summer I went, I, I did a lot of vacation too, you know, and and and, and like <laughs> just to get away and see new stuff, rejuvenate re either either with family or friends. Like when me and you we went to we went to Evans' party this past summer, you know. Yeah. Because you got to balance the scales, and you got to balance the scales, if you will. Sometimes it's more hard to balance the scales, but you know, get away from the movies, get away from the podcasting, if you can. Because I know, I know, I know, we both do a lot, but then when you get back to it, pull you, put everything into it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put all your energy into it, because yeah, number one again, I'm a, I'm a father first. 
So River said he's a mom, but no. How are you a mom, River? I don't know. <laughs> well, but, but you can be funny, and I, I, I think if you have a good sense of humor, you can get through anything, you know? All right, so I, I think of the count of three, um, since, you know, we got a, we got an inside joke between us, me and the, you and Evans with the raccoons and coyotes and all that. Yes, because, you know, uh, I saw a raccoon and, and we always have this raccoon thing and you, you always see coyotes and it's like, whoa, we should have friends together sometime, right? Yeah, really. All <laughs> right. Coyotes. So on the count of three, we'll, uh, you, I'll say, um, we'll flip flop. So you say coyote, I'll say raccoon at the count of three. Okay. All right. One, two, three. Raccoon. Coyote.